Hey everybody, we are back. Christmas in July. Only got a couple of videos left to do for that. And I thought I would show you what you could do or get ready to do before December, way before December, to get your wrapping in order. Now, I saw this on Pinterest, I think, last year. Yeah, it had to have been last year because I made it last year. And um, I keep it up here because I don't have any place downstairs to keep it, but I keep it up here. And it's my gift wrapping cart. And you can make this for just Christmas or just gift wrapping in general. Mine is for gift uh, Christmas. And so I thought I'd bring you through and show you everything. Now, down here in front, I have my extra boxes and everything. I put them all in a bag. I save the boxes every year. And eventually they get all been out of shape and stuff and I throw them away. But right now, these are what I have for those. And so let me move these out of the way so I can show you the bags about had it. If I keep them in. So let me show you what I have. Okay, this is supposed to go down here. So hopefully it's okay. Um, let me see if you can see it if I put the light on better. Yeah, way better. Okay, it's just a three drawer, you know, three thing um, cart. I took a basket and zip tied it to the side and got a bungee cord to hold the wrapping paper in. This is all the wrapping paper that I own right now is this. And I still, I'm trying to use it up. I, I had more than that last year. I try to buy one maybe two new ones, but like this year, I wanna finish up using this blue one. There's not much left on it. There's not much left on the other one. There's a couple that don't have much left on. And we'll end up using those up this year. Eventually I wanna get so, I have to get it every year, you know? But this is what I have for gift wrapping right now. So on the top, I have a little um, separator thing right here that you can get from Dollar Tree. Has my scissors, pen, a Sharpie, some pens. I have a ribbon in there. I got Ariel's little Christmas hat that she likes to wear when she does stuff. And I got some ribbon right here. This is gold and silver ribbon right there. I have tape. Right here, I have multiples of tape. I got one, two, three, four, five. I got five. I'm definitely gonna have to make a shopping list for more tape. We probably go through 10 of these. So I, I usually end up getting more. I have some, um, I don't know why they're all crinkled, but there's some bags right here. I'll have to fix those. I don't know why they're all crinkled like that, but I'll straighten them out. And I have some ribbon. I have a trash bag ready. I have some ribbons, ribbons, gold ribbon. I have a, a coal stocking stuffer. I got some stickers. I probably will get more stickers this year because this I only have a few left. So I'll have got to get tape and tags. And these are bags different bags, you know, like these. I've got to fix it. But I keep a trash bag in here. I have a bag, um, a gift wrap bag right here. I keep some on the side right there on that hook. And down on the second one, I have um, some more ribbons, you know, that are like already made. And then I have some generic, like red ri ribbons and so forth, right here to use. And I was looking for that the other day when I was making that thing in the, up here. I'm like, I know I have them somewhere. What happened to them? They're right there. 
And then I have some bows. I need to get some more bows. So that's all I got. I usually go through a ton of those too. Some bows. And then on the bottom is more um, tissue paper, some more bags, different kinds of bags underneath. Tissue paper, little pieces of wrapping. Um, so that's not bad. I mean, it's a cute, cute way to use up your stuff. That way you know what you have and what you need, you know? And then like the ribbons, if you use them at your home, you can reuse them. But if you use them and you give them away, obviously you're not going to get them back. You know, that kind of thing. But yeah, so that's my little gift wrap cart. I thought that I'd, I'd share that with you for Christmas in July because this would be a good thing to get ready now. Because what is it, another... Halloween comes out. Halloween is out. A lot of the fall Halloween is coming out. So I would say in another month, maybe month and a half, Christmas stuff will be coming out. Then you can get your other stuff that you need. So I'll make a list and I'll have it in my planner that I need tape, tags, and bows. And I'll look at the paper, see if there's any paper I want to get. But I want to I plan on using this paper up. And yeah, and I got gift bags to use and everything. And I got a bunch of boxes to use. So these you can't really put on the cart, but they're, I keep them right there next to it. So I know where they are and all of that. So I just keep them in here. Ideally, they would be downstairs where all, with all the Christmas stuff. And I probably could do that, put it in that hallway there. But I just left it up here this year. It's been here since last November. October, actually, I think, is when I made it. But it's a good idea. I thought you could like the idea and maybe make your own or make a gift wrap center. You know, mine is, of course, Christmas-oriented. I have a, a thing underneath my bed that has all other gift wrap in it, you know, like birthdays and just regular occasional paper and stuff is in there. But my tape and stuff is right here. So I can grab what I need out of the thing underneath the bed and use this still for gift wrap. So anyway, that is it. I hope you enjoyed. I hope it helps you. Um, you can find these carts sometimes, um, actually my family dollar has started carrying them. They're 20 bucks and I think it's cheaper at Walmart. I think it's like 16 or 15 or something like that. Really easy to use. You can find them at thrift stores <coughs> and so forth. But even if you don't have the cart, you can still make a gift wrap center with these get some containers you know for like this one for all that another one for the ribbon you know the bows and you could keep it in a container underneath your bed with all the um stuff you know but with me out of sight out of mind you know and then to get it i i, I just like this it's more pleasing to me so anyway hope you enjoyed have fun and we shall see y'all again soon